Hello guys! Do you know who William Suryajaya is? If you haven't heard of him before, you may be more familiar with his wildly successful business, Astra International. But apart from William's success, the other members of the Suryajaya family are also relatively well-known to be wealthy and hold key positions in their family's business empire. To give you an idea, one of his sons made it to Forbes list of 50 richest people in the nation. Are you now curious about who they are and what businesses they own that made this possible? We will now invite you to see the family tree of William Suryajaya. Here it is, and you can check out the family tree of this conglomerate at entitree.com. Now, let's start with William Suryajaya, the original patriarch of this family. William Suryajaya, an Indonesian Chinese businessman, was born Chia Kian Leong in Majalengka, West Java, in 1922. William was endearly referred to as Om Willem, meaning Uncle Willem. In 1957, William with his younger brother Chia Kian Tie, his friend Lim Peng Hong, and Teddy Tohir established a small trading company in central Jakarta. Astra's success began with the importing of 800 Chevrolet trucks from General Motors during the start of President Suharto's administration in 1969. These trucks were assembled locally in Indonesia. William was married to Lily Anwar Ui, and they have four children together. Edward Suryajaya, Edwin Suryajaya, Joy Suryajaya, and Judith Suryajaya. They hold top positions in Astra management. Now, their Astra International business is a multinational conglomerate company and the largest independent automotive group in Southeast Asia. They excel in many sectors, including finances, heavy equipment, agribusiness, information technology, infrastructure, and retail. Since 2018, the majority of Astra shares are owned by Jardine Cycle and Carriage Limited. Astra's success has always been associated with William Suryajaya's hard work. The Suryajaya family is also related to the Rahmat family, another conglomerate family in Indonesia. They are related by Augustine Suryajaya's marriage to Rafael Adi Rahmat. Augustine is William's older sister. The Rahmats own the Triputra Group, and their businesses include rubber processing, coal, agribusiness, motor dealership, and logistics. William was pretty influential in helping the Rahmats build their wealth. He first employed his nephew, Theodor Permadi Rahmat, to hone his business skills by being an Astra salesman. When Theodor was finally successful in his own company, Triputra, he also collaborated with William's son, Edwin, to expand his Adaro Energy Stone Mining Company in Kalimantan. Now, let's talk about William's children. Edward Seki Suryajaya was born in 1942. Edward is known to be very aggressive in expanding his business. He expanded the Suma Group by starting a property business, buying a number of hotels in Jakarta and Surabaya. In Australia, he bought a 100-room hotel located in Perth. While he was busy expanding his business, the Indonesian government was also busy implementing a new tight financial policy that later proved to be disastrous for him. Due to this policy, Edward's loan from overseas was not fully disbursed. At the same time, many of his loans were due, while the Suma project has yet to make any profit. This unfortunate timing led the Indonesian government to liquidate Suma Bank on December 14, 1992. Edward's tragedy marks the end of William Suryajaya's business story. He and his children had no choice but to release all of their 100 million Astra shares. Sadly for him, his bad luck did not end there. Edward was also sentenced to 15 years in prison in April 2019 for a corruption case involving Pratamina Pension Fund, which caused state losses of 612 billion rupiah, or roughly 42.5 million US dollars. Edward is currently serving his time at Salemba Branch Detention Center. As the director of Ortis Holding Limited at that time, Edward was found guilty of facilitating the sales and purchases of shares in Pratamina's pension fund through Pete Sugi Energy. The Supreme Court rejected Edward's appeal in September 2019, 
he is obligated to pay roughly 1.7 million US dollars and will be only released in 2034. Fortunately, the rest of the Surya Jaya family are nowhere near as tragic as Edward's story. Aditya Wisnuwardana Seki Surya Jaya is the son of Edward Surya Jaya. Aditya is the former CEO of Ramba Energy and director of Redmount Holdings. Atilah Patriarti Surya Jaya, born in 1961, is the wife of Edward Surya Jaya. She is the granddaughter of King Mangkunegoro VII and married Edward in 1998. Atilah is an artist. Her expertise is in traditional dances, especially the traditional dance of Kraton Mangkunegaran. Then there's this other woman, Francisca Kumalawati Susilo, who claims to be Edward's legal wife. She already has a son named Augusta George Laksamana Saputra Suryajaya. Francisca is now desperately seeking her right to be included in the Suryajaya family tree. So, that's the complicated life of Edward. But what about his siblings? Edwin Suryajaya was born in Jakarta, 1949, and is the second son of William Suryajaya. He was the one who worked with Theodore Rahmat. Edwin can be considered the saving grace of the Suryajaya family, both in terms of wealth and reputation. With a wealth of 580 million US dollars, Edwin ranks 45th from the list of Forbes Riches Indonesian as of 2021. After leaving Astra, Edwin Suryajaya started trying to help restore the family's wealth through the parent company Saratoga Capital in 1998. The company was founded with Sandiaga Uno, who is presently the Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy. This business is engaged in investment, particularly for the natural resources and infrastructure sector. Edwin then handed over the leadership of Saratoga Investama Sedaya to his son, Michael Suryajaya. Under President Director Michael Suryajaya, Saratoga Investama Sedaya managed to record a net profit of 7.3 trillion rupiah or roughly 506.7 million US dollars throughout 2019. Currently, Michael is the director of Merdeka Copper and commissioner of PT Provident Agro. Edwin also serves as the president commissioner of Adaro Energy, which was established in 2004. Adaro Energy is the second largest thermal coal production company in Indonesia and an important supplier to the global thermal coal market. Joy Surya Jaya was born on August 14, 1950. She is the commissioner of Saratoga. Currently, Joyce also serves as the commissioner at PT Unitras Pratama, one of the main shareholders of the company, and PT Pandu Dian Pratiwi. This is on top of being the president commissioner of PT Nonferindo Utama and the managing director of Inter Astrea Limited. Together with Edwin, Joyce shares ownership of PT Mitra Pinashtika Mustika, which their father founded in 1987. PMP is an investment company engaged in automotive and financial services. William's youngest child, Judith Suryajaya, was born in 1952. She has two children, Angelica Nathania Tan and William Shane Tan, in her marriage to Roy T. T. Tan. Judith founded Credo Group as the investment holding company for Astra International prior to its initial listing in 1990. After the divestment of Astra International in 1992, Judith developed a portfolio of Credo Group companies. This includes Melia Hotels in Asia Pacific, Amandari Hotel in Bali, Jury Sources, Laundrette, and Shackman. Judith's daughter Angelica Nathania Tan and daughter-in-law Fanny Mailoa, click here to see the video of her family. Wife of William Shintan currently lives at Judith's home in Beverly Hills, California. The house is worth $26 million. Angelica Nathania Tan married Roberto Pangasian Lumban Gaul, a member of the Golkar Party and the son of a Batak businessman, Humuntar Lumban Gaul. Benjamin Arman Suryajaya, born in 1922 in Majalengka, West Java, is William Suryajaya's younger brother. Benjamin passed away in 2010. He has four children, though only two of those children are typically mentioned in the media. Johannes Suryajaya and Rina Suryajaya. Johannes is the president director of Surya Semesta Internusa. 
Johannes's daughter, Christina Suryajaya, is the CSO and co-founder of Trefilio.com, an online residential real estate management company based in Jakarta. In 2021, Lily Suryajaya died in Jakarta at the age of 97. On the other hand, William Suryajaya passed away on April 2, 2010 at the age of 88. William did not leave Astra to his family, but he will always be remembered as its founder. So, that's the William Suryajaya family tree. While their story is at times clouded by dark moments, their success as a business family is undeniable. Failure is nothing extraordinary in the world of entrepreneurship. As long as the Suryajaya family stays resilient in their efforts, their prosperity will not cease to exist anytime soon. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to write them down in the comment section. Be sure to visit entitree.com to see the family tree of other well-known people. See you next time!